Okay, so now I've just drawn in um, the, just the outline of these, this group of horses. Um, just be careful with the drawing part of it. Make sure that it looks right. I'm going to take a, the small round brush again and I'm going to mix up um, a sort of grey. So I've got a bit of Payne's grey and I've put a bit of purple into it just to reflect what's going on in the sky and I've just put a dot of um, burnt umber into it as well. And I'm going to paint all of these horses out. This is the sort of easiest option um, with regard to these silhouettes that we've got here. You can mask them out with masking fluid which you would have done right at the beginning so draw your horses out and mask them using the masking fluid and let it dry off and then you would paint your sky and your water over your horses and then right at the end of the pic picture once you've done your water and your sky and it's all solid you would remove the masking fluid and then paint the horses in. Um, but this is by far the easiest way to do it, is to just paint these animals out. Um, if it's not dark enough, darken it up. Bring some of the lines down into the water like so. If you feel you need to, then use um, something like a rigger brush or something like that to paint the sort of very fine lines that come off these animals like so you'll get a much finer line you can work into those lines but be very very delicate because the beauty of this picture is in this reflection of these animals now that animal on the right is not dark enough so i'm going to take a little bit more Payne's gray and I'm just going to add that in. I want it to be much darker. So I'm just going to add an extra bit of depth into the tone of that animal. Um, just to, and like I said, do the drawing well first, and then you shouldn't have any issues with how the horses look once they're finished. Okay. But if you get the drawing of the horses wrong, then your horses will always look a bit sort of awkward. Okay, so carry on with that process of blocking these animals in, really paying attention to the detail of the, the muzzle, that's the nose of the horse, and where the neck meets the withers which is this bit that i'm painting at the moment it's got a slightly raised edge to it down into make sure you bring it all the way down now this pony is quite a bit lighter than the other one so i won't put any Payne's gray into that one i'll just leave that to dry and if it's not dark enough that then i can always go back and put another layer on do your ears with a fine brush and then they don't look too clunky. If you pick up um, a round brush for this job then they might look a bit sort of awkward the shape of them so just be careful. I think his body needs to come down a bit lower because he's up to his chest in, in water here this one. So he must be a bit shorter than, than some of the others. So again, you can use the thicker brush to put the initial lines in, but then after that, take your rigger brush or a very fine detail brush and put in some of those extra bits. Okay, carry on. I'm just gonna block these in as quickly as possible now because pretty much these are all in one one form here 
so they've all they're all there must be about i don't know one two three four four or five horses in this section that are all linked together so we can see the belly on this one so he must be a bit or she must be a bit taller than the others so just leave a gap where the belly reaches the water and a gap here where there's a little bit of sky showing through between this horse and the muzzle of that one. So I'm just going to come in ears. Some of them look like they're actually either eating or drinking out of the water as they're standing in it. This head here is particularly important because it's right on the edge. So just take a bit of time to get the muzzle the right shape. Again, the ears. I'll put a little point on those in a minute. There's no gaps in this section here, so I'm just going to uh, paint away. Try and concentrate though uh, with this section. Make sure that you do represent gaps if there are gaps there. Um, particularly important for that feeling of, of distance between these animals. So you can see that on this section here, let's just put a bit more in. So this horse here is standing in front of the others so i'm going to darken this one up a bit and i'm going to make it look like his leg is coming down into the water here which will form from his belly so just a little bit of leg there and a little bit of leg and then again just put in those horizontal um there's a horse standing further back here there's a bottom coming round here like this with a tail. So I'm going to put that one a little bit further forward like that. Um, there's another bottom here. You, again, you can you can work into this uh, another time. Um, but just get it roughly in the right place. There's a very dark area. I'm not quite sure what's going on in there, but I'll have a closer look at a better image. And um hopefully get that right. These horses, their heads need to be darker. So I'll just put another coat on there. This one particularly, I might just give him a little bit more gray in there. Just so that he looks like he's standing forward. And this is his bum here. And he's got a white tail. So I'll leave a gap in the middle. Um, there's another backside there. Um, don't know quite what's happening here. I think there's a head and a, the back of something else coming along there. So um, we'll just leave that a little bit patchy for now. And then come in and put in some of those reflections that are close to the animals. Leave some purple marks in between. And just... spread them and obviously pick up your rigger sorry knock that again pick up your rigger and go in with some finer marks coming down from the horses okay so you can get the um the sort of uh the idea from that go back in darken these areas up put some more reflections in and using those three tones that we used before. So we've got orange, rose madder, um, and just carry on putting in reflections. The final thing will be to put the white areas on and put some foliage down the front here. But I'm not going to um, make you watch me do that. I'm just going to finish that bit and then I will add on the finishing touch in a minute. Okay, so I'll stop this one.
and um, you can move on to the next section.